Вітаю. Поки очікуємо Джозефа Байдена, наш короткий брифінг штабу інформаційної оборони. Інформаційний дефенс штаб. 21-й день дефендинг країни. At least 10 people were killed in a mortar attack in Germany. At the time, civilians were standing in line to buy some bread. In general, humanitarian situation in the city is very complicated. The mayor of Chernihiv said that up to 200 hemodialysis patients from local hospitals need to be evacuated immediately. The most critical humanitarian situation is seen in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Today at nearly 3.30 p.m. Russian troops opened fire on a column of civilians that were trying to evacuate from Mariupol to Zaporizhia. According to preliminary information, some people have been killed. There are some children among the injured. The final toll is being clarified. This afternoon, Russians opened fire on Kharkiv. A fire broke out in the marketplace. At least two people were killed and five injured. The state emergency service reported that more than 500 civilians had died in the city since the start of the war, 88 of whom were found under the rubble. In Vinitsa, Russian troops struck a TV tower and bombed civilian targets in Zaporizhia for the first time. Kyiv was bombed again at night. The shell fragments hit a residential building in Shevchenkivsky district and there was partial collapse. Fortunately, no one was killed. The occupiers released from captivity the employees and volunteers of the Bucha city council who had been abducted the day before. On temporarily occupied territories, the Russians continued to kidnap local authorities and activists. In Skadovsk, the mayor and his deputy were kidnapped. Melitopol mayor Ivan Fedorov and Dniprorudny mayor Ivan Matveyev continue to be held captive. On the Polish border, activists had been blocking the passage of trucks with goods headed for Belarus and Russia for several days. Now the passage has been cleared. We call on our Polish partners to stop all the freight transportation of all the vehicles with Russian and Belarusian license plates on the territory of Poland. Our volunteer centers work all over the country. They collect and transport humanitarian aid, help with resettlement, weave masking nets, and prepare food for our defenders. Thousands of invested volunteers help them. In Poltava, it has become a tradition to bring food for the train conductors. They work around the clock, they are never home, and they are able to leave the train, even to go to the store. In Lviv region, our volunteers donated tourniquets and hemostatic bandages to the 80th Brigade. In Ukraine, meanwhile, prominent figures in the Ukrainian film industry have spoken out against the Russian invasion and called for a boycott of Russian culture. Російського вторгнення і закликали бойкотувати те, що називають російською культурою, бо ті, хто вбивають мирних людей, не можуть нести культуру. Очікуємо Джозефа Байдена.